Okay, so in this quick tip tutorial with Photoshop, we're gonna go over a very similar tool uh, to the Content Aware tool. This is a little bit uh, more specific on smaller elements and the Content Aware is for larger objects. For this, we're gonna show how to kind of remove what I would call artifacts in a texture or image. So you can see in this first one here, we have some concrete uh, texture, but then there's a couple of pine needles on here. There's the shadow uh, and some grass blades on the other edges. So it's one of those things where you don't want to use the content aware, but rather this other nifty trick uh, and tool, the spot healing brush tool to kind of get rid of just these minor things. It's basically like a brush that'll kind of get rid of these things and do that kind of content aware. You can kind of see that that's pretty much how it's operating. It doesn't matter really if it's a hard or soft brush, but as you can see, as you kind of brush over and hold down, uh, it kind of darkens that area. And as soon as you let go, it fixes it, right? So it's one of those things where you can kind of just get rid of uh, little small things that maybe you don't want to show up. It doesn't really matter even if you brush off the screen. As you can see, it does a really good job kind of removing these very small kind of, uh, like I say, artifacts on an image, right? So it's a really kind of fun trick to clean it up that way. And again, it does a really good job of blending it. You can even get rid of these other things that maybe you just don't want to really kind of stick out if you wanna uh, repeat one of these textures. I'll show you how in this example, it doesn't work so well if you wanna do really large areas, it kind of looks a little weird and very patterned and gets kind of muddy. So if I were to like say, I wanna get rid of some of these footprints, some it looks okay, but if I were to kind of do these larger swatches, sometimes it picks up on the other stuff and it doesn't always do the greatest job, especially if you start to do it over the entire thing. Here and now you can really kind of start to see it getting a little more muddied. It's okay if maybe you try it in small stints, but um, you can kind of start to see that there is this um, muddy pattern that starts to happen, right? So you, like I said, you don't want to really apply it to really large objects, but if it's something like that with a twig, even that's a little bit tricky, but um, to try to avoid these larger areas. It might be something too where it comes in handy if you're taking photographs of something and it's not until after the fact that you realize, you know, like I really didn't want that in the image. So in this case, I did it on purpose where I've got these uh, irrigation lines that are capped. There's in a couple areas. Maybe you want to try to get rid of one of those footprints. It's a little bit nicer. So it's a way to kind of touch up some photographs too. So again, in this case, I just brush over that. And again, you can be a little bit careful of just kind of doing it a little bit at a time instead of one large stroke. You can test it to see if the softness helps as well. All right, so just kind of be aware of in some areas it works a little better than others. Um, even in this area where it's shadowed, it actually works great. Uh, so it kind of, again, just darkens that area, which is essentially kind of gets the point across. And same thing with like these footprints, you can start to kind of just incrementally click to get rid of those areas. So that's another way you can kind of start to treat some of these things is to just kind of incrementally start to touch it up that way. So like I said, it's a really uh, nice little trick to get rid of some imperfections in your photos. So that's it. Um, again, one of our really nice uh, quick tip tutorials for you all.